Hello friends, thank you for joining us today for this video. Today we are in Niagara Falls, Canada. We are counting down the top 5 attractions you will want to do when you visit Niagara Falls. So get ready, we have 5 amazing attractions for you to virtually experience. Hitting our list at the number 5 spot is the journey behind the falls attraction. The tour starts off with an elevator ride down about 130 feet. When you come out of the elevator you will enter the tunnel. The attraction operators will provide you with a rain poncho because you will likely get a bit wet at the end of the attraction. As you move through the tunnel, there are two observation points that take you directly behind the falls. You will feel and see the power of the horseshoe falls as 2,800 cubic meters of water goes over the edge of the falls every second at around 65 kilometers per hour. As you make your way to the exit of the tunnel, you will get access to an upper and lower observation deck. Get ready for an awesome view. You are free to spend as much time as you would like taking pictures or just experiencing the falls as this is a self-guided tour. Making our list in the number 4 position is Niagara Falls White Water Walk. You will enter the tour through the gift shop, taking the elevator down 40 meters to one of the observation platforms. There you will have a first-hand experience of the awesome power of a Class 6 White Water Rapid. As you venture away from the platform you will get your first views of the half a kilometer boardwalk. This is absolutely one of the most awesome and peaceful walks you will ever experience. The boardwalk parallels the Niagara River, which is flowing at a rate of 45 kilometers per hour, creating large whirlpool rapids as the river passes through the narrow gorge. Present Gorge was once the bottom of an ancient seabed. We know this as fossils have been found of sea animals and crustaceans that generally live at the bottom of the sea in the various layers of the escarpment. Some of the fossil records go as far back as 425 million years ago. The Niagara Gorge really provides scientists a unique opportunity to study what was on the bottom of the ocean floor millions of years ago. The forming of the gorge was more of a recent event starting around 15,000 years ago as the water from the falls would carve away at the sediment below creating the present-day gorge. You can tell this process happened over a period of time when you look at the various layers of sediment and limestone in the escarpment. The falls has been slowly receding towards Lake Erie which is the cause of the lower and upper gorge. All the water from the falls will one day make its way out to the Atlantic Ocean. It flows from Lake Erie into the Niagara River then later into the Great Lakes Basin and then out to the Atlantic Ocean. Making our list in the third position is the Niagara Falls Whirlpool Aero Car. The car is attached to six interlocking steel cables that are suspended over the Niagara Whirlpool between two Canadian points. A 50 horsepower electric motor powers the Aero Car and can travel up to speeds of 7 km per hour. There is also a backup car in the event of an emergency that can carry four passengers back at a time and is powered by a diesel engine. Lucky for us that emergency car has not had to be used 
used in the attraction's over 100-year history. The ride itself takes you between two Canadian points but you will cross the US border a total of four times during a round trip. The attraction will take you about 200 feet into US territory and spans a distance of just over half a kilometer or 1,700 feet for my American friends. When you arrive at around the midpoint you are suspended at approximately 200 feet above the water level in the basin. The whirlpool below is an extremely violent place. However, if you are brave of heart you can venture into the whirlpool aboard the whirlpool jet boat tour. If you are on the American side you can get closer to the basin level of the whirlpool through the Niagara State Park trail system. On the Canadian side a little less official trail will get you down to the basin as well. The rapids below are extremely powerful entering the basin at nearly 40 kilometers per hour. So even the strongest of swimmers would not have a chance against these rapids. The basin covers a space of 60 acres. During the summer months you can see anglers and hikers on both sides of the whirlpool. Making our list in the second position is Niagara Falls' newest attraction, the Niagara Park Power Station Tour. The attraction starts on the ground level of the power station. As you enter the building you start to get your first views of the massive blue generators. You do have the option of touring the tunnel first, however I would recommend viewing the main floor first and leaving the view at the end of the tunnel as your reward. As well the tunnel will have more meaning once you understand what role it played in the plant's operation. As you progress through the power plant each of the blue turbines has an exhibit next to it where you can stop for a moment and learn about the various aspects of how the plant operated. One of the highlights for me was the turbine with the exhibit telling the story of Nikola Tesla's early test in transmitting AC current from Niagara Falls to Buffalo, New York. This successful test was a game changer that allowed Buffalo to expand quickly in the early 1900s. It also led to widespread electrification in the United States and Canada. The building of the plant took many years and involved hundreds of workers. They broke ground on May 23, 1901. The design has a Romanesque feel because of all of the columns and arched windows. The primary inspiration for the building came from the Adams Generating Station operated on the American side. This plant sits on a solid piece of bedrock just above the Horseshoe Falls. The exhibit on the right is very interactive. You get to experience what it is like to be behind the controls of a turbine during its different phases of operation from start up through potential meltdown. Now let's get prepared to take the elevator down to the tunnel level. As you descend down to the tunnel level you will get to see the various floors of the power station. The elevator is fitted with glass paneling so you will get a once in a lifetime view of the various floors on your way down. The start of the tunnel sits 180 feet beneath the power station. The tunnel was used to return water that had passed through the power plant back to the Niagara River. At times the water in the tunnel would have been as high as 3 or 4 feet, making this a 
very unique experience to be able to walk the path the water traveled on its return back to the river. This tunnel is the perfect place to escape the heat. Temperatures in the tunnel are usually around 15 degrees Celsius. You will again be provided with a rain poncho for when you exit the tunnel and are exposed to the forces of the falls. From the start of the tunnel to the exit you will travel a distance of 2,200 feet or 680 meters. There are several benches along the route if you need to take a quick break. Please keep in mind that there are no washrooms at tunnel level. The construction of this tunnel was started with a vertical shaft being created halfway between the power station and the shore of the Niagara River. They had two construction crews working at the same time. One crew would dig towards the power station and the other crew towards the Niagara River. Crews used a combination of dynamite and simple pickaxes in carving out the tunnel. The cleared material would be put on a platform and raised to ground level where it could be trucked away. Okay. the list in the number one position is the Niagara Horn Blower Cruise. I am a little bit biased as this is one of my personal favorites. No matter how many times I have been on the Horn Blower Cruise, it is as exciting as the first time. There is no better way to experience the falls than aboard the Horn Blower in Canada and on the Maid of the Mist in the US. You board the Horn Blower boat at the docks located at the Niagara Parkway. It's a quick five-minute walk from the bottom of Clifton Hills. The tour operates May through October from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with extended hours during the summer months. I believe the last boat leaves the dock around 6.45 p.m. during the summer months. There is no direct access parking for this exhibit. You will have to park in the Niagara Parks parking area or at an alternate lot a bit further from the attraction. Warning, parking in Niagara Falls, at least on the Canadian side, tends to be rather expensive. Like a lot of the other attractions, you will be provided with a rain poncho. To be honest, with or without the poncho, you are going to get soaked on this one, so be prepared. I would recommend wearing water shoes or beach slippers and clothing that dries quickly. The driest place on the boat would be on the lower deck near to the center of the boat. The cruise starts with a pass by the American Falls. This part of Niagara Falls is completely within the American border, unlike Horseshoe Falls, which is shared between the two countries. The American Falls is the higher of the two falls, reaching a height of 110 feet or 34 meters, and spans a distance distance of 950 feet or 290 meters. Scientists believe due to erosion that one day the American Falls will be transformed into rapids. As the cruise continues to progress you are moving closer to the Horseshoe Falls and you are starting to hear the roar of the water and feel the mist in the air. This is where things top side of the boat becomes a bit hectic. The ride lasts for around 20 minutes and you are brought within 170 feet or 52 meters below the brink of the falls. The boat will stop and linger for about five minutes allowing its passengers to feel the awesome fury and power of Niagara Falls. Well friends, that's the last attraction on our list of the five best attractions to visit in Niagara Falls, Canada. Let us know in the comments which attraction you like the best. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will always know when we upload a new video. Until next time my friends, stay safe and we are sending you positive vibes for a great week ahead.